Okay, we are on the air. This in here. Good morning. Well, I am. One and only. That's what James has to see. In the martial arts. I have studied many style and trained in many areas of life in the martial arts. I begin and go through Kempu. I am the founder of Holy Tate Karate. It consists of from seven to ten different styles of martial arts that I combine into one. Now, we're dealing with the sword today. Many times, today a lot of tricks is done with sword. Let's begin slowly here. There are three degrees of a sword. The end, the point, the stab. That's the first degree. Come to a quarter of the sword. That's the second degree. Come to a little beyond the center. That is the third degree. That's where you do your chopping. That's where you do your cutting off bone. That's where you do cutting off head. Chopping off arms, chopping off legs. Let's lay this here for a minute. Now, in my sword pouch, I have a small sword, a little small knife. This knife is for if I don't complete my job, I am to cut my throat or take this knife and run it directly into my heart. That's why it's so small. Because the sword, I will have a problem cutting myself because it's so long. The little small knife makes sure there's no problem me executing myself. My sash is to watch another blood of my long sword on my coat. But, if I commit suicide, my sash, the man that I went to kill, or the woman, or a family, will take the sash off and drop it back, send it back to the, my master, let me know that I did not complete my job. This is for suicide. What is going on today overseas? It's not something that just started over 100,000 years ago. Men have vowed to commit suicide if they cannot complete a job. This spirit is still existing through demonic forces. Now, Ninja was the first to bow to their master to, to, to suicide. For the sake of their family that live outside of the camp will be financially taken care of for their life. So when they enter this camp to become a ninja, it was for life. It was not for too well. It was just like going into the mafia. The mafia. Can go in and join for a while and decide you want to leave. It doesn't work like that. The same thing it was for a ninja. Once he entered, he entered not for himself to just learn self defense, but a ninja entered into this camp for the sake of his family to be taken care of financially. Now, today we have suicidal going on, blowing up each other, blowing up bomb, blowing up the United States. Now, those people that are killing themselves, they're poor people, they have nothing. But they have a large family that they can't afford to take care of. They are seeked out by these corrupt minus people to get them or someone in their family to bow to blow themselves up. And their family in return is taken care of. Now, 
I don't do tricks where I know how to use a sword. I also have a degree as a butcher. Now, if you don't know what a butcher is, a butcher is a person that take a cow and we dissect the cow and it's sold to you as different type of meats. That was my first job coming out of high school and being in the martial arts. They worked hand in hand because as a butcher, the first thing they taught you, they would bring a butcher knife and place it before you and say, listen, this is the first degree of the knife. This is the second degree, and this is the third degree. The third degree is for cutting the rough part of the meat. The same is here. So when they told me that, I understood that very well. Listen to the sword, if you can hear it. When I first release it, it pops. It locks in place. So it comes out, as it comes out, it comes out cutting. You don't draw the sword and begin to cut, but it comes from the holster, cutting. This thing, if this was a person, I would come out. When that sword would come out, you would be dead already. We have so many tricks where we take the sword we spend. A lot of them, I have to they look pretty good. But it's not reality. The wisdom that I was taught as a child, when I was taught and trained to use a sword, because we knew we couldn't carry a sword around, even then it was against the law. But because of the ability to use a sword, I could pick up a stick off the ground Dealing with five teenage kids, I will come out walking away. I guarantee you. That's how well I was taught. That's how well I was taught how to use a sword. It was the coordination of the ability of your hand. With any physical extension in your hand becomes your hand. And you never have to look to see how long it was. Once you look at it once, your mind takes a picture. Once it got that picture, I know how long it is. Once I see the three men, I look, my mind takes a picture. I never forget. Now the fight is on. Whoever moves first, that's who gets it first. Same. As in the life of a swordsman. Now, during the Japanese War, that little knife, they didn't have that. I have that sword also. It's a half inch short. But this sword here is a ninja sword. So, when you buy your sword for competition time, you should pay attention to the difference of the sword. All swords are not the same. You have the suicidal sword, which is the ninja sword. And you have the Japanese sword, which is the warrior sword. There's a difference. They are not the same. There is a difference. And if you don't know the difference, and you got two swords, most people in competition, they got the long sword on the opposite hip. They got a two-inch sword. They work the long, and they create a form with the short. That's not what the short sword is for. It's for the kill you. Not your opponent. Do I disagree the way they do who's in competition? No, I do not. Because I would hate for us to see people on the map in this country of a suicide using sword to kill themselves. So, use it for competition and using it, sticking it mine or their lift butt to defeat or to take out my, their opponent, that's a good thing. But the only problem is this. If I got 20 guys in front of me, surrounding me, I'm not going to pull my sh short sword. It would be my long sword. Why? To give me advantage. I do not want them coming too close. I want to execute everybody at a distance. Second thing, once my sword is drawn, all that I cut, 
I injured a person. He's not dead. So I grabbed the sword with my other hand. Now I'm in cut, a cutting position. I'm coming across. I'm stabbing. Stepping back. Cutting. Come back across. I'm chopping off his head. Stepping back in preparation stand. Blitz. Checking out what's left. I think that I'm going at one that he, that he may prepare himself. The other one attacks. I catch it. I cut him. To slow him down. I step back up. I cut off his head. The life of the source man. Let's become more educated of what we're doing and what we're into in the life of the martial art world. For I am the one and only Matthew J. Glasser Sr., founder and organizer of Holy Taste the Writer. I just want to share that little information with you on the life of a sword. God bless you. You're a master of the martial art. You're closing. Talk to you later.